So this is a, a video on training on how to use the Social Stealth Marketer Platinum 1.61 or above. Um, a lot of the work is done under the Email Collection 1 tab, and that's our primary uh, email source. Um, I've got a keyword in here, Director of Marketing. I could have also put in Marketing Director. So then you enter your keyword, and then you select whether you want output for email only or if you select, uh, um, you know, unselect email only, it's going to bring in uh, data that does not have an email. Um, I always use email only, but some people may want to gather um, other data. So um, now if you're just, you know, in the United States and you're not targeting any cities or anything like that, you can leave the location blank. Uh, otherwise, you could put in a city or a country or uh, pretty much anywhere on the planet if you would like. Um, so this runs by pages. Uh, LinkedIn serves up 10 profiles to a page. And depending on the market niche, uh, you're going to get a certain percentage. Now, on average, um, it's somewhere around 35%. But uh, marketing directors, for whatever reason, usually have uh, more emails available. We've been getting 40 to 50 percent on this. So again, it just depends. Um, some people have a lot of information. Uh, you know, if they're in marketing, or they're a realtor, or a network marketer, or uh, you know, some reason why they really want their information out there, you're going to get a higher percentage of emails. And some people, conversely. Uh, like CEOs, certain executives, uh, if you're targeting them, well, you're going to get less. And that's just the way it is on what's available in LinkedIn. So how you operate this is you, um, uh, you know, put in the email only, keyword, location, and then use the start page is always going to be uh, one the first time, okay? And I just set it page limit one. And so I just brought in the first page just so I would show you some of the results here. Now we're getting a lot of data, uh, first, last name, email, title, location, URL, company, domain, um, the industry, the year they were founded, and the size of the business. Now I have purposely done this on a free account. So normally you don't get the size of a business unless you have Sales Navigator. That's the one good thing about sales navigators is that will deliver that kind of data. So we're getting a lot of data, even data that we normally would not be able to get in a search by using this technology. So after the first page, okay, if you want to continue, then you would say start on page two. Now you do have to remember where you left off, so you'll need to make notes on that. And you're, when you're collecting your emails, you always want to differentiate between email collection system one and email collection system two. They are very different. They pull in different data. Email collection system one collects from inside LinkedIn. Email collection system two collects LinkedIn data, but from outside LinkedIn. Okay, it's using a very special type of uh, Google search and very specific terms in order to um, acquire the data. Uh, in this email collection one system, uh, you don't want to do more than 50 pages a day. Now that's a lot of data, okay, depending on what you're doing. If, um, you know, if we got, uh, uh, you know, five email addresses every page, uh, which I haven't went 50 pages on this, but uh, we may or may not, then, um, you know, we're going to end up with you know, 250 emails. So you can think about how you want to coordinate that. So if I wanted to run the start page and then take this, then uh, that's how I would set it up. And just hitting this play button. And uh, it will go ahead and acquire the data. And I'll, I'll go ahead and pause this video and do this right now. Um, here... I have um, set the start page to and the page limit 5, meaning that uh, we ended up on page 7. So if you get that, your start page, you know, whatever the start page is when you're starting back. So 
let's say that you've done 20 pages and the next day you want to start on page 21 you would set it to 21 and then you might set it to 30 pages to get to 50 however you want to manage it um, but uh, anyway that's the uh, system that we have set up um, and you can you can see uh, the different data that uh, I've collected um, so we're getting a lot of good high quality data from these type of searches and one of the good things about it is we're getting generally speaking their uh, business email address their own personal business email address why is that better well it's better because it's much more deliverable um, if if you get uh, TLDs mean top top level domains Gmail you know um, um, Hotmail Live Yahoo etc generally speaking you run into a lot of filters that you don't typically run into in the smaller domains and so for that reason uh, your deliverability on this type of data will be better than it will in uh, you know in in other data sets now so when you're done you select the data that you have and then you want to save it okay and when you save it um, uh, let me show you here hang on just when you save it what you want to do is you want to um, set up let's say the the date <coughs> 5818 is today's date. Actually, I like to start with the, the title. Marketing Director. Marketing Directors. 5818. And um, let me see. Underscore 19. Uh, just as an example. And um, CP1. So you always know it's collection process and the number. Okay. Now collection one, I'm going to open that up, click save. And then I have this data saved into a folder that I know is collection process one. And that is important because when we run the data management, if we're adding this data together, the data management system works uh, only with data from each type because you don't want to mix up the types um, unless you you know force them to be mixed later uh, when you're first doing this and you know you're running the data the, the data sets are very different meaning that this collection process one has a lot of data the email collection two uh, does you know doesn't have anywhere near the same amount of fields so you want to keep them separate at least at first anyway that's the quick overview of how to collect the data. Just, uh, you know, whatever the next day is, then you just set it to the next page number and keep going. Now, um, if you have a free account, um, you only have 100 pages of a, a certain type of, you know, marketing term. So what do you do? Well, uh, what you do is you create uh, either a state or city where you're targeting okay and then you mine all of the data available in that state or city and then you move on to the next one if you really want to collect the max amount of data then you're gonna target the top uh, 100 plus cities in the United States and uh, so if I was doing director marketing from a free account you know, I might start with San Francisco and then, you know, work my way down to Miami uh, all over the country and then target uh, director marketing city by city by city. That way I'll get a lot of different differentiation in my searches and I can get a lot more data. So that's how you do it with a free account. Um, okay, so let's go over to email collection process 2. Again, this is very different. Now, um, when you run this, uh, you want to set up um, all of the different types of 
email that you can collect okay, to get the max amount. And so what it's going to do is it's going to run uh, a, a special search on Google that we have an app set up to do. And it's going to uh, target your key for keyword. So like affiliate marketer, okay, was um, one of the ones that I ran, okay. So affiliate marketer. And again, you can select the city. Now, um, I'd run a bunch of cities in California to get a, an affiliate marketer. You do that just like on a free account in the email collection one process so that you can get a lot of differentiation. So it will um, um, run the search over and over to collect more data. Uh, limit 10, um, it's, it's always going to do 10. Country you want to leave alone unless you're targeting a specific country. So if you want to target people in Australia, then of course you're going to put in Australia. Other than that, you're going to leave this blank because we're controlling it up here. And you want to select. So like, let's say you wanted to do several cities, okay, in California like I've done. You want to set it to rotate, and that's going to rotate through the different uh, email addresses. Uh, address so it's going to do a search for the top 10 pages for Los Angeles for this keyword and then it's going to do a search for the top 10 pages for this the next email address in Los Angeles for this keyword etc etc now it is going to take a few minutes um, so if you wanted to do all of California it's going to take a few hours but there's no real limit to the search here because it's outside of LinkedIn. But you are getting, what you end up with is good, clean LinkedIn data, and that's why I've included it here. So I always want to set it to rotate, set it to email output only. It defaults to that. Um, but you do have to click on the rotate just in case, you know, you ever wanted, like, only Gmail addresses or something like that. Then you would, you would not select rotate, and you would just select Gmail or whatever you want. Um, down at the bottom where we've got the at symbol, that's everything at. So that's going to pull in smaller domains. So if you only want smaller domains, then you would use this. Um, other than that, you can um, hit the go button, let it run for a while. And then once you're done, um, you, know, you can see the results. And you can put in the... Uh, title and then hit your enter key like I just did. What that does is it forces this affiliate marketer in this case, whatever keywords you have, to be together in the search. Now, if you've ever searched on link on uh, on Google, which you have, then you'll notice that sometimes after a few pages, it'll start serving you up results where. Um, and sometimes not even after a few pages, but it'll start serving up results where these words are not together. Okay. Now, I know there's a trick with putting them in quotes. However, it doesn't always work in this system. So, we have this little handy-dandy thing here. You can take your keyword, put it up here, hit the Enter key, and it will bring back only um, results that have in this case, see, affiliate marketer is in them. Okay. Now, uh, how many results did I get? Only 15, but that's 15 more than I had before. And all it took was, a, you know, some minutes of time. Um, you'll notice that in this case, these are all top-level domains. Anyway... Um, same kind of thing, okay, if you want to you save these, click here, all right, and then we're going to go back to Collection Process 2, and Collection Process 2, we're going to say Affiliate Marketer, and in this case, uh, California, and the date, 5818, and uh, 15, okay. Not a lot, but again, more than we had. So that's how you use 
this um, this search and it does actually search pretty fast but it's um, it is uh, um, you know it doesn't produce massive results usually but sometimes it does sometimes it'll surprise you so you know you may hit the button and and uh, um, you know you've got 500 email addresses on your topic so, wow okay well that's cool so uh, my best advice is to run a test okay uh, run a test on just one big city in the United States put in your search term and see how well it comes up and then um, kind of you know put in the search term up here hit the enter key and see how many you end up with if it's a decent amount if you're getting at least you know some then go ahead and repeat it you can let it run all night and you know get uh, get a bunch of emails so it doesn't uh, doesn't cost anything to run it it's a very interesting technology and so we've kind of perfected it here by adding all of these you know different add-ons you know rotating through the top level domains and stuff and uh, putting in targets and and pre-cleaning so uh, once you've you know once you've got it go ahead and add it to your uh, folder and then we'll uh, I'll talk about the data management here next okay so um, let's say we're using the email collection to process and the data management okay so we're going to load the CSV file so we've got affiliate marketer and um, so we can load that and let's say that uh, it shows you the number here, of course. And let's say we've got that. Okay, it shows you 91. All right. And you want to split the file um, into yeah, let's do, you know, 20. Um, then you can split the file. And you, uh, when you pull that up, it's gonna it's gonna ask you okay how do you want to label the file okay now you can uh, click on one of these to label it I'm just going to leave it defaulted okay and just a moment here and as you can see what it did was it created 20 files all right and um, so you can just do the math and um, so if you have 91 and it's got 20 files and you know how many are in each file um, so anyway that's how that uh, split system works okay um, now if you want to combine it's just a little bit different okay so um, let me show you how to combine the um, files here so let's say we've got uh, this file and this file same file type of course email collection 2 that you want to combine you get the total 91 instead of splitting the file we click combine now it's going to ask you to label the output file of course so let's just say combined dash 91 I'll leave the rest the same <coughs> Um, I'm going to click Save. And that will uh, activate it. So, when we end up, there we go, misspelled, but it's, you have 91 um, feel, you know, 91 pieces of data now in that file. That's how it's, uh, it's done here. You just load the files that you want, it'll show you the total. You click combine and then label the file of course always put in the total amount that it's going to be in there and some notation that you've uh, you know combined it or however you want to however you want to note the file and uh, then when you click save it'll create the file and that's our simple email collection system uh, uh, and uh, data management system 
uh, the same for the you know the email collection one is the same as email collection two except for you're using files from email collection one that's really the only difference so anyway at this moment in time that is the, the platinum and how to collect emails and then uh, remember that you know when you go to save the file select them okay save the file label it correctly and make sure you set up a folder that's you know email collection you know one email collection two so you put it in the right folder and then you you know uh, nothing can go wrong at that point and then you'll be loading them into the send emails tab over here uh, in order to send them all right thank you for watching